Woman Sepetu is a girl, I can say a lady, aged 24, born and raised by Mr. and Mrs. Isaac Abraham Sepetu. A darling, a sweetheart, loyal, charming, short-tempered sometimes, a Libra. A girl who is very, very ambitious, can strive through whatever, and can take down any obstacle that comes in her way to to stop her from achieving her goals. I'm just, I'm a go-getter. Growing up, I've always been wanting to stand out. I love myself. I, I'm just me. That's just plain one must have to, briefly. First day to mend and kakutana msichana flani vya naito shubira, I remember until today. So I remember as if it was yesterday. I still have that memory. Nika kutana nai, she was my first friend to kutana shule. Tukaenda paka darasani. Tumeka, I just started crying because sabu it was a new place. A new mazingira. Nika tuna I want my mommy, I want my mommy. And it was just crazy. I mean, what do you expect? I was four. So, yeah, Koyo, I still remember the first day of school, and from there on, kido kidogo to get, yani to kazoea, kindergarten, so now what you do is just sleep and sing. So, yeah, I remember it. It was a quite good experience. When I was talking about my kipindi, I was kipindi ambacho then as in, Mwalimu wangu sijawahi hata siku moja kukaa hata kum think twice. Na naweza kusema kwamba hata saijai kutokea. Yaani kwamba hata mwalimu akaweza akafanya aka labda akafanya matamanio kutaka kitu chochote other than that. Amna kitu kama hicho. Ningepata chance labda sasa hivi let me let's say let me go back to school, back to academic, in a world of academic nini uniform na nini. As in, just try and make it more fun. Just try and make school a place where everybody can just be himself or herself. Make, make, those, make those classrooms the spotlight, you know, and just be where my sepeto because right now, this is my time. My sister, my firstborn sister, Anaita Tunu. I connect her, I, I mean, I connect with her in many, many ways because, I don't know, because like, there's this bond that we have. You know, growing up, my mom, Ali Voniza Mimi, Ali Pataga Galstons, Ali Umwa, Akalazwa, because she used to take care of me. Make sure on time. And she used to take care of me kama mtoto wake na mpaka sasa hivi ananiita my baby and i call her my mommy kwa hiyo kuna carbond flani hivi ambayo we used to have mpaka sasa hivi nadhani ipo kwa sababu kuna vitu vingi ambavyo naweza nika interact naye mtu wa pili ambaye naweza nika interact naye na niko comfortable naye sana ni dadangu wa tatu baada yake ndo nafuata mimi anaitwa suna i call her chunky puff she is my, she's my best friend. Dad, my dad is just going to be my dad. Hey, you can never like connect with your dad like that because 
growing up nime nimekuwa niki sio kumwogopa in a way lakini though my dad has been mtu flana vya ambaye yuko straight forward unajua hata ile mmerudi nyumbani baba yuko sebleni amtaki kwenda sebleni mnajificha chumbani mkiitwa tu wema mungu wangu unashika kichwa what now unajua lakini yeah it's it's like that my mom my darling my heart my angel my guardian angel my number two from god my mom so yeah Yeah, nimegombana na dada yangu. My sister. Baka sasa hivi tuongee. I find it kind of hard but then I don't know. It's it's just there. When it comes to my mom, wewe ukasema kwamba ni mkorofi in a way. Lakini tu hapendi nikikosea. Hapendi nikifanya kitu ambacho sicho. Na mamangu sio kwamba ni as in naweza kusema kwamba kutokupenda kwake kuna lead as in inafika point kwamba anakuwa na asira sana. Alafu way ya kuonesha asira yake inakuwa ni it's just in her own world and it's just out of this world, you know? Kwa hiyo as in Yeye yeah, anafikiria kwamba anakuwa anatengeneza lakini instead of kutengeneza anakuwa na ana anaharibu. Mimi mkorofi. Mtu ambaye hanijui ndo ataniita mkorofi. Ukishanijua tuta yani tutafika mbali. Lakini ukisiponijua and you don't know what I want basi yani kutakuwa kutakuwa kuna chaos. Hakuna mtu ambaye anaweza akaja akanielewa mimi. Unajua being wa masepetu is not an easy task. It's very very hard. And it's not as what wanavyofikiria yani. It can never be as mnavyofikiria or it can never be as what mnavyofikiria because it's the life that I'm living. Ni mpaka mpaka experience life ambayo mimi hapa naishi ndio unielewe. Yaani hata kujibisha kuye, kuyelezea ili wewe unielewe napata tabu kwa sababu it's just undefinable. Mashabiki wangu mimi wananielewa sana and I tend to have a very good communication and a very good relationship with mashabiki wangu. And it has always been good. Yaani relationship ambayo na have na mashabiki wangu is very different from relationship ambayo na have na familia yangu. Unanielewa? Yaani as in it's just CLA, yani as in it's 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 crazy. You understand? But then it's the price you pay for being famous. Mimi naweza kusema kwamba katika vitu vyangu ambavyo katika vitu ambavyo mtu mwingine wa nje anaweza akaviona kama vile Mungu wangu wema yani ni mimi navichukulia kama challenge. Unajua eh? And mimi naona kama vile like There's something special about me. Kwa nini wasisemwe watu wengine ambao wako karibu na watu wengine? I am beautiful because I am blessed with a beautiful heart. I believe I'm beautiful because I have a heart that's made of gold, I can say. I have I have a pure pure heart it doesn't just come because because i'm supposed to do it or i'm supposed to 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 like only to have it it's just there it's just it's just what mwenyezi mungu naweza kusema kwamba ameni bless with kitu ambacho mimi najivunia first of all uelewa wangu sawa i'm not bragging or anything i'm very very smart ni mtu ambaye ukiniambia kitu faster i'm i mean i'm i'm a quick i'm a quick learner na hata kama sijui kitu yani kukijua it will take me muda mfupi sana ability ku, kusimama na kuongea na nikasikika lugha unaona na hivyo ni vitu ambavyo najivunia sana I have that inner me that 
Uwe ndo anaye anaye waga anaye niambiaga go for it and don't look back. And that 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 inner I call it that inner person, that inner that inner wema that from the from the from the core of my heart. Yule ndo ambaye waga niambiaga you know what? I'll be right here backing you up. No matter what. And ni kwambata kama millions of people anasema no. Like ni yule tu peke yake akisema yeah. I'm good. Yeah, I do when I'm stressed. I do. I do to release my stress. I need to to ease my stress. Waga na onaga. Nikiwa niko niko stress sana na hisi kama vena. I just smoke and I just ease it out. Kwa hiyo inaweza katokea once in a month. Sija, sijaacha ustawi ni uni take over. Unajua kuna wale watu ambao wanaacha ustawi wa take over. Mtu ambaye unakutana naye mpaka anabadilisha atakuongea kwake. Na wakati haongea hivyo on a normal basis. Anaongea kawaida tu lakini ukimkuta aha you know what kwa kuwa wewe ni star au kwa kuwa wewe ukanyagi ardhi ambayo mimi nakanyaga. We both walk on the same ground, you know. Lakini like why do you have to be all that? Na wakati you're just fine you have a name I don't. Lakini sasa watu wengine wanaacha ile ustawi na take over na control. Inafika point kwamba unakuwa kama vile mtumwa. Mwisho wa siku unaanza kuishi maisha ambayo huna. Hasa mwisho wa siku inakuja result inaanza kukuumiza. Unaona unaanza kuumia because Mungu wangu nimeshazoea kuishi maisha fulani. Ishi vile ambavyo unaweza ukaishi ishi. Huna huna. I'm a person ambaye I don't let I don't let something overcome me. I'm a free spirit. I like something I do it. I don't like it I don't like it. Ivo, I can wake up in the morning leo nasikia hamu ya kula miogo. And I'm going to go get myself muogo and eat. Not just because I'm mwema sepetu ndo siwezi kula muogo. Hell no. Kwa sababu mwisho siku I live to please myself. I don't live to please people. My my precious my My favorite is Vani because Vani Vani is just charming. Vani she's she's a sweetheart. Kako charming, kako loving, katakufanya tu ukapende yani. Gucci star, Gucci Gucci anajifanyaga kama vile mtu wa kulay back, kuchill tu. Ushiriki na najua kwamba upo. Uchawi upo. As in uchawi kama uchawi upo. It's there all over worldwide. Ila tu yani ni kitu ambacho nisingependa ku yani nisingependa kujiinvolve nacho. Kwa sababu gani? Kwa sababu sitaki one day kuwa mtumwa. Mimi mtoto wa Kiislamu nafanya kisomo unachinja kila mara baada ya muda. Hivyo. So I believe kwamba ukifanya hivyo unajikinga na vitu vingi pamoja na ule ushirikina ambao uko within. Nimeshawahi kurogo. Nimeshawahi. Imeshai kunitokea kabisa yani. It's another thing ambayo nisingependa kuiongelea because most of the time waga inani inani demoralize flani hivi. Lakini nimeshai kutokea kwamba like yes, nimeshai kupitia kipindi cha kipindi ambacho ni kwa siko sawa na Siwezi kuficha wamekuja wengi sana ambao wanataka wametaka kuni approach kunipeleka wengine kuniletea wengine mpaka nyumbani kwangu and all that lakini Quran mimi ndo mganga wangu namba moja naweza kusema kwamba ni yani as in I live for Quran by Quran with Quran so evil Unategemea nini once ukisha ukisha kuwa katika katika spotlight kwa sababu this yani yote hii ni just because tuko kwenye spotlight do you you don't expect kuwa na watu wote wazuri around you lazima wengine watakuwa ni wabaya na sio kila mmoja ambaye anakuchekea atakuwa ni anakuchekea from the heart so wengine wanakuwa wanakuchekea tu hawana 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 choice watafanya nini lakini deep down inside the heart they don't feel that
Well, my first boyfriend. Staki kum tajabana. Staki bana. So come back to where my celebrity wanna bend us and I could date my celebrity. Ni field and by tuko. Tuko in the same field. Kwa ni watu ambao watakuwa huko interests interests ambazo zitakuwa zina yani mtakuwa mna mutual interest naweza kusema au common interests ni wale wale ambao mko kwenye ile ile field sawa so, kwa hiyo to me imekuwa iko hivyo okay naweza kusema labda mtu mwingine anaweza ka mbona mimi hivi mbona mimi na mimi najiongelea mimi kama wema sepetu mimi kama mimi so it has been like that with me Bow four or five, six maybe. <laughs> we we connected, we clicked, and um, we had this we had this chemistry that was just crazy, you know, from the minute he sent me that text on your facebook to the minute he told me he loves me he's one of the he's among one of the people and by i experienced what love can do in a girl's life i've experienced happiness with him i've experienced torture with him i've experienced sadness with him so evil what's done is done yeah Well, once upon a time there was one and there was diamond and these people fell in love. Mimi naweza kusema kwamba watu wana try sana kutu 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 nini kutu linganisha au ku try kusema kwamba maybe tunafanya kitu kushindana. Maybe because when it comes to yeye anafanya vizuri katika industry yake, mimi nafanya vizuri katika industry yangu. Kwa hiyo because anafanya vizuri na mimi nafanya vizuri watu wanaona kama vile hawa tu they're trying to compete unajua lakini kila mtu anafanya anafanya anachoweza kufanya kwa wakati wake kwa hiyo mimi sijaleta siku moja kushindana na diamond na siwezi kushindana na diamond mimi kuimba siwezi unajua Kajala is is a friend a sister ndugu ambaye sijawahi sijawahi kwa naye ni naweza kusema kwamba ni ndugu yangu not because tuko kwenye uko mmoja whatever hayuko kwenye uko wa sepetu lakini relationship ambayo tumekuwa tuki have tume, tumeanza ku have tokea tunajiwana with Kajala has been one of the relationships ambazo sidhani kama nimeshai ku have na mtu yote Kajala watu wanadhani kwamba mimi nimeanza kumjua juzi kwa sababu maswali mengi sana yaliulizwa why the ten million why kajala kwanza hajaye ta kunini no kwa sababu hawajawahi ku pay attention tokea 2007 mimi namfahamu kajala hata bado sijatoa sijavua sija taji unaona so tumeenda tumefahamiana hivyo hivyo mpaka tukajaga kuwa kuwa marafiki tukajaga kuwa marafiki sana kuna kipindi tuka tuna tuko tuna close bond mpaka imefika point tuka tunafika point tuna tuna tunajikuta tumevaa nguo sare yani as in it was just a bond ambayo yani it was just it's 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 unexplainable tumetoka pale nje cheni anauliza na kwa sababu ni kwa mimi was ni kwa nalia na mwanga yaka jaya analia yuko pale kizimbani Sielewi na muuza cheni WhatsApp akaniambia da hapa Kajala amefungwa hiyo miaka nane sijui sawa nikamwambia Mungu wangu kaniambia lakini au tunatoa fine ya milioni 13 nikamwambia sasa tunafanya nini watu wanaangalia na usoni unaona nikamwambia kwa ni Kajala iko wapi kwa kila mtu yani was just then ile hajielewi Kajala iko wapi iko kule wanampeka wapi wanamrudisha au kwa nini wanamrudisha eh ndio hivyo yani kwa sababu lazima fine ipatikane fine inapatikana vipi watu wanaangalia na usoni and I'm like you know what fine nitatoa 
unajua kwa yani it was kitu ambacho kilikuwa hakiko planned unaona hamna mtu ambaye ali ali ali, ali kiria or whatever kwamba kutakuwa kuna kitu kama hicho it was a surprise to all of us lakini niliona kwamba if naweza kufanya then acha nifanye ni, ni, kwa kwa wakati ule nilikuwa sifikirii mbali nilikuwa nafikiria what can be done kwa kipindi hicho kwa what i just wanted was kajala out yani nilikuwa sifikirii kwamba sijui nini mimi nilichukua nataka ni kajala awe huyu kwa hiyo hata ile fact ya kurudi tena segeria eti within two days yani kama naona mbali kwa ni no i can do it kwa hiyo kilichoweza kufanyika kimefanyika kajala is out It was not pleasing. It was not pretty kabisa. It has been the three worst nights of my life. Haikuwa yani it was bad. Hakuna binadamu ambaye hapendi hapendi freedom. Unajua one thing ambayo pia ina ina re, ina, ina reflect kwa nini nili kwa nini kwa nini nilimsaidia Kajala na kwa nini ilinitouch ili sana na kwa nini nimeweza takupata guts za kutoa ile milioni 13 straight na kumsaidia because I've been there I've done that ni kitu ambacho najua I've been I've experienced it sasa mimi siku tatu tu zilikuwa torture sasa mwanzangu mwaka na ilikuwaaje kwa hiyo siku sikuweza hata kama ninge hata kama ningesema kwamba nisinge msaidia Kajala Alafu kajala ndo angekaa miaka hiyo saba si nane jela. Kiukweli kwa kipindi hicho ambacho angeweza angekuwa iko ndani mimi mwenyewe nisingeweza kuishi with the fact that niliweza kumsaidia lakini si kumsaidia. It's not how we must be to rolls. Bastizo is my blogger, he's my photographer and anaye and I run kila kitu ambacho kinahusu endless fame kama not on no social networks website nini Kipindi cha kwanza nikaona kama vile nikimpa kazi bestizo endless fame italeta kama matatizo fulani Lakini nikakaa tena nikafikiria and I'm like okay I know bestizo sawa so, na najua kwamba my whole time ambaye namjua bestizo kwa diamond amekuwa ni mfanya kazi nzuri unajua ni mtu ambaye ukimsema anaelewa ukimrekebisha anaenda mimi sijui kitu gani ambacho kilimfanya bestizo na diamond wasiwe wako wako in good terms sawa mimi niko niko not in good terms na diamond bestizo bado alikuwa iko kwa diamond na kipindi hicho mimi hata kufungua kampuni sijafungua akawa ni tukiongea ananiambia kwamba like hivyo ukipata issue yoyote niunganishe na nini yani hata akwa, alikuwa haniombi kazi yangu mimi alikuwa ananiambia tu nimpe connections tini ni mtu wangu wa karibu as well as peti imani nimesema nimewa nime include wote kwa sababu ukimwongelea tini unamwongelea peti so ni watu wangu wa karibu sana I've known them for muda mrefu wananijua na wajua tuna socialize in so many ways tuna vitu vingi sana we share a lot of things in common so evo Martin has been has always been that man behind he has been behind the mask naweza kusema even before he was my manager alikuwa ni rafiki yangu sawa so, not rafiki ile wa bad bodies to pitiane to fanya nini no lakini he has been a friend ambaye when i'm torn ile i'm just devastated hata kama sijaona nani miezi sita nikiona nae that one day namwambia yote ambayo ametokea miezi sita iliyopita mwaka juzi ndo mati nakasema kwamba let me be your manager we gave it a shot naweza kusema kwamba hatukua hata na na mikataba whatever ku sign in the beginning because it was just hebu tujaribishe and then tuka nini ikakiki paka today i am what i am naweza kusema kwamba the man behind me is martin